Welcome back to Educator.com. Today we're going to have another, in fact, the last one of our disease-specific lectures on HIV AIDS, which of course is a very important and critical health problem in today's world. So uh, while this is a very uh, large topic, uh, what I'm going to touch on are some important areas and then also give you some places to go in the event you want more information. So the question is, what is HIV AIDS? Well, HIV stands for the Human Immunodeficiency Virus. And the virus is, of course, what is responsible for AIDS, which is Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome. And Again, this is a, a epidemic disease and it's currently being controlled quite well by these heart, H-A-A-R-T medications that we're gonna talk about later in the lecture. But we'll see that um, even though the incidence is certainly continuing, right? People are continuing to develop AIDS. Once they get AIDS, the uh, hope and the length of life now that's available for people who develop AIDS is, has greatly improved in the last 10 to 20 years. So the thing is, once the individual is infected by the HIV virus, basically the virus is going to be there the rest of the person's life. There are a couple of uh, important exceptions to that. Uh, there's one individual in Berlin that was successfully able to completely eradicate the virus. And uh, we'll touch on that later in the lecture. And there's another, there was another baby recently born in Mississippi, but that baby actually has now a very low level of virus. So we'll again talk about that as well. So HIV is transmitted through body fluids and um, it's, it's a type of uh, virus. So the HIV virus actually lives uh, in a T cell, the CD4 cell, and it infects and lives, of course, in the immune system. And because of that, there is a characteristic immune suppression that occurs with individuals who have AIDS. And often it's not necessarily the AIDS uh, disease that um, causes mortality. It's actually the other opportunistic diseases that occur because of the immune suppression. And we touched on a couple of these diseases in our other lectures, and I'll bring, to, I'll bring them back to, to recall to, to provide some connection to those lectures, as well as talk about a new, or not a new, but at least another opportunistic infection, uh, the Kaposi sarcoma. Uh, 